All right, we're ready for the next section of our uh, cable hookup. We're actually going to run our SATA data connections first. So that we have those done before we do the power connection to the motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, cable so I can show you what those look like. So this is a SATA cable. So you can see this one kind of has a, a flat side. Um, there's other ones that both sides are kind of the same. Uh, we're going to be using uh, a mixture of the two. Now we first want to kind of show you the connections um, on the CD-ROM and the hard drive and the SSD drive and where they're going to go on the motherboard and then we'll actually walk you through hooking those up. So the first one let's take a look at is on the CD-ROM. The data connection for the CD-ROM is going to go right next to the power connection. So you can see there. It's going to go right here in this slot. You see it's a little smaller L-shaped connection. And that's going to connect to one of these SATA 6 gigabit per second ports, which you can see here. The four gray ports are the 6 gigabit per second ones. The four black ports are the 3 gigabit per second ports. So for all three of these devices, we're going to be running the SATA 6 gigabit per second, which is the gray connectors to the right here. There you go. So we're going to be using those. And then if we look down here on the hard drive, as well as the SSD, you can see the data connection. Right here next to the power connection. See it there? And we have the same down on the SSD drive. Let's see if we can get you a better shot of that here. It's a little tricky to see. You can see there, right next to the SATA power connection, we have the SATA data connection right there. It's a little L shaped. And then here on the hard drive, we have one as well. Right here on the hard drive, we have another SATA data connection. It's a little L-shaped. It's a little hard to see down there, but it's right there. And now we're going to take you through hooking all of these up. So the first one, let's hook up, let's hook up the CD-ROM drive at the top. We're going to use this L-shaped connector for this one. And we're just going to put it right up here where we just talked about, right next to the power connector. Make sure it's in line. And you're just going to push it in so it's nice and tight. And then we're going to take the other end. And we're going to go back here to our SATA connector on our motherboard. Remember, on this particular motherboard, we're using SATA 6 gigabit per second. So we want to make sure we go on one of the gray ports. The L shape faces down, so on your connector for the motherboard, you want to make sure that this L shape faces down when you press it in. I'm going to use this bottom connection on the right, very far right, plug this one in. Push it in until it clicks and then we're good to go. I'll kind of get this out of the way a little bit. See it plugged in down there. I 
And now we're going to plug in the two connections to the SSD and the hard drive. So let's first plug in to the SSD. And I'm going to run this one side of the cable down underneath these wires. So we got a little bit cleaner run. I'll show you where I'm going after I get it in there. You can kind of see there. And then I'm going to take this other one, and I'm going to, again, it's going to face down, the L shape. I'm going to plug it right in next to the power supply here for the SSD. Push it in until it clicks. And we got our other end that we're going to connect to the motherboard here. Again, make sure the L shape is down. And I'm going to connect this one to the top port on this side, the first set of gray buttons. Let's actually get our um, other hard drive connected to the bottom section there first, and then we'll get that one hooked in. So again, L shape facing down. We're going to plug this into this hard drive. It goes until it clicks. And run this underneath here. Again, L shape facing down. I'm going to go on this very bottom one, this first set of connections. Push it in until it clicks. And that one's installed. And we're going to come back and put our connection in for the SSD right above that. There we go. We have our SATA cable, SATA data cable connections all hooked up now and we're ready for the next step of the process.